Hey, going to be playing Mega Man 2 today. One of the greatest Nintendo games of all time. And uh, let's get started. Let's get into it. All right. So story wise. All right. Um, not too complicated. If you saw the uh, uh, what I did with Mega Man 1, um, it's there's an extension of that. Instead of uh, six bad guys, there's eight. And the story goes that, see, after his defeat, Dr. Wily created eight of his own um, robots to fight Mega Man. In the first game, Dr. Wily took Dr. Light's robots, tinkered with them, made them bad. In this game, he made his own. So that's the, the, the hook of this game. So for this, I'm going to be doing it on difficult. Uh, difficult is actually the way this game was in <laughs> in Japan. In Japan, they didn't have uh, the the, uh, the difficulty settings. They just had uh, you know the normal game. First game was really punishing. Uh, I mean, I went through that one. I really struggled with it. Uh, I didn't own that one as a kid. I owned this one as a kid. This was actually my very first Mega Man game. Uh, Got it for Christmas. I, yes, this is definitely a classic, man. I'm getting into it. Thanks for joining. So, uh, I'm doing um, a Buster only run. Now, what that means is I'm just using the regular gun here. You can call it Lemons or uh, Buster only. Now, why would anyone want to do this? So, um, this game, it, think of it as getting like an extra mode. Uh, out of this game, like an extra way of playing this, like, uh, just more, <laughs> more bang for your buck. Now, why would you want to do that? Uh, as a kid, um, you know, <laughs> power pods, yeah, uh, whatchamacallit, um, this cost 49 bucks, uh, games today cost 59 bucks, but 49 bucks today, and it's not the same. It's like over a hundred dollars. So imagine asking your parents for a hundred dollar game. Uh, I kind of went over this on my Mega Man One too. But uh, mom and dad aren't going to be buying you a lot of games for a uh, hundred bucks at a time. Ah, that was sloppy on my part. The so eggs. It's one, two, three. Then there's an egg. One, two, three. Egg. All right. Yeah, forty nine ninety nine, man. Woo. Uh, you had to go get the tag. At, uh, at Toys R Us, bring it up front. So over a hundred dollars for a game, that's steep. So you gotta make these games last. You gotta find extra ways to play. So one of the extra ways to make this game fun was to add extra challenges for yourself. In this case, it's the, um, you know, the buster only. In other words, I'm, uh, only using the regular gun as much as possible. There's just things you just gotta make up, entertain yourself. So this is a way for me to kinda have some extra nostalgia, take it back to, you know, how I used to play. Because otherwise it looks kinda weird. I mean, the game gives you items, why don't you use them? Not, it's, <laughs> whoops, I'll take a smith. Um, it's just capturing that, you know, complete, complete feeling. Oh, look at this. Make an entrance. Uh, I also have a thing called Retro Achievements on. Um, I have this game on uh, Legacy Collection, but I'm um, doing this on Retro Arch. And it has Retro Achievements, so as you do certain things, you get achievements. And I guess they have a achievement for uh, jumping through the door, which is always fun. So for Airman, uh, dodging his stuff is really, really difficult. It's, it's totally random. When he jumps over here and does this, as soon as the air starts, just jump straight up. And uh, it takes you over. Look at this. Personally, I prefer lemons. Which is... <laughs> the, um... It's what they call the Mega Buster also. Just because it looks like little lemons that you're throwing across. So here we go. Um, Mega Onlooker's talking about... There's, a, there's an order. There's definitely the preferred order. I'm not really following it. Um, usually it's Airman, uh, to Crash Man, because you can use his, uh, the air shooter on him. <laughs> yeah, I am living on the edge, man. Woo-hoo! 
just gotta jump. <laughs> then you just keep going. Woo! Okay, alright, alright. Gotta get ready. This is a part where you have to quickly go left and right because those uh, laser things start coming. So let's go. Hopefully I can do it. Alright, left, right. Just run, just run, just run. Don't stop. Oh, I might have messed this up. I went too far. Ooh, all right, I got lucky, okay. Don't go for the one-up, it's a trick, it's a trap. Don't fall for the trap. Go, 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 go. I'm holding right, left, and woo! All right, made it through. Uh, Faster than a flash. It's situational, because sometimes, man, when the fight begins, he just flies right at you. And it's just totally unfair. So of all the things, you don't want to get hit by his body like I just did. Ah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Nope. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> oh man. Uh, what's quick trick? I don't even know what I'm doing. Woodman. Woodman is definitely one of the tougher guys too, because it's like super precise how you how you dodge his stuff. You can't hit him with this. You gotta jump over this. You gotta. Ugh, I didn't do it right. You gotta like thread in between those leaves. See like that. It's really tough. Woo. Then when he does this, jump and oh, I almost made it. It's like super super tight timing. You gotta. Jump underneath them. Or run underneath them, sorry. And then, uh, uh. There's also a little trick if you get close enough to him. There you go. I'm the nicest man. Oh, look at that. Oh, so I think Wispy Woods is a thing. It's like if you don't use any, lose any Mega Men's in specific times. But who's the most fun? It's the sled. A lot of people use it uh, to get through Heat Man's level. We'll do him next. So, Crash Man. Alright, this guy, every time you shoot, he jumps. So what you want to do is jump, and as you're falling, shoot once. Just once. As you can see. He shoots a bomb in the middle. Jump up, shoot. Jump up, and as you're falling, shoot. Gotta keep a nice, tight uh, <laughs> rhythm to this, man. Woo! There you go. So as a kid, I, you know, it took me a while to figure this guy out. I had a lot of trouble with Crash Man. Uh, he is weak to the air shooter in the way he jumps up. And it, I mean, I haven't showed the air shooter, but uh, that's the item you use on this guy. Oh, for uh, Woodman, I forgot to tell you his weakness. His weakness is uh, Heat Man stuff. Uh, uh, atomic Fire. Now, Crash Man, if you get a, uh, if you get cute and start shooting all over the place, he, uh, see, things got to control. There you go. <laughs> see, if you start, if you, if you spaz out and jam the buttons, he starts flying all over the place and he becomes a problem real quick. I don't know why. It took me a little. One, two, three, jump straight up. One, two, jump straight up. Now, just. Jump to the right. Jump to the right. Jump to the right. Keep jumping to the right. Jump to the right. Jump to the right. Jump to the right. Only way to get that one up is with the jet sled. Once you go down here, one, two, three, jump right. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. That's sad. All right, one, two, jump, jump straight up. One, two, jump straight up, and just jump to the right. 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 Just keep going to the right. Stay nice and calm. Stay nice and calm. As soon as you get down here, one, two, three, jump straight up. There you go. There you go. Um, 
Ooh, look at that pattern master. <laughs> I got an achievement for getting through this. Cool. Heat man. First thing you want to do, shoot once, hop a little to the right. There you go. Now, he tosses flames. Lemon. You can't hit him because see he's got his uh, heat shield up. Give yourself some space. Fireballs. Jump. There you go. All right. There it is. All right, we just keep going back and forth. Dunk. Keep going with the heat. Here we go. Fire, fire, fire. There we go. Keep going, keep going. I know, it's a little tedious. But it's all about, you know, staying focused. Look at this. Chomp. The lighter is furious. By the way, controller I'm using. I like using the 8-bit dough, you know, classic looking stuff, man. He, um... I think crash bombs are what you use on him. Oh yeah, because it's all over the level. I think that's his weakness. Um, he stops time, like that. And if you're not in the air, you, ah, you take some extra hits. Let's see if I can pull this off. One more hit. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Flash freeze. All right. Tearing up this game, man. Yeah, that El Dorado Lego stack. Ooh. I had to look that up. It was, um, I remember it had a gray bottom. It was a white castle. That power system is really nice, so. So in the meantime, you had to make these Nintendo games last. Um, so yeah, you got to do extra modes, other way, other ways to uh, keep this game fresh. So Metal Man's another one of these guys that kind of chills until you shoot first. It's kind of like a Wild Wild West draw thing. And then the floor flashes, or the screen when the screen flashes, the uh, platform pushes you another way. So what you want to do is you kind of want to be like here, like, oh, you don't do anything, man. He'll take a shot at you. You don't want to be stuck against the wall too long because he can he either hops high or hops low and he tosses three blades ah, or two. Ah, never mind. He's tossing all sorts of stuff. <laughs> I don't know what he does. Anyway, it's, it's almost like you just got to kind of skill it out. Um, yeah, just here, and then when he does his stuff, jump. Ah. Uh. Bad dentist. Oh yeah, he does kind of look like a dentist. That's right. He does kind of look like a dentist. Ah, it's kind of... <laughs> Bubble Man. When he lines up with you, he shoots this torpedo stuff. See? And then, ooh. So what you want to do is jump, like, right underneath him. Jump when you hit the ground. And then go into the bubble. So, so I'm going to jump up just underneath him so I don't get hit by the, uh, the torpedo thing. And you stay here. Just go back and forth. Lands, I always jump because sometimes he uh, does the torpedo torpedo thing or not. Oh. Bubble trouble. Ooh, here we go. Um, yeah, well, I mean, I just played one called Panzer Paladin, which did exactly that for their final levels. There's there's other games that do it too. I think Shovel Knight did it. I'm not sure, but that's like how big of an influence Mega Man 2 is on gaming.
the perspective. Juk, juk, juk. Ghosts and Goblins, that's right. Ghosts and Goblins had this kind of style map. Maybe. All right, this is the robot dragon. Don't try to... You, you can't hurt him here. You just gotta run. Keep doing the jumps. All right, when he lines up with you, he shoots fire. So, he doesn't look that tough, but the tough part is if you take a hit, any hit, you uh, you instantly go right off the edge. Him down. Oh, we're flying through this game, man. If I hadn't hit my head on that block, I might have done this without dying. Wow. I don't think I've ever tamed. I don't remember it being boring at all. You know, I never played Kid Nikki. I never played that. Um, I didn't have. You know, back in back in the day, you had to like make your allegiance to a. Uh, to a system, and it, for me it was like Nintendo top to bottom. Oh, Jackal. You know what? Jackal for the NES is actually like really similar to the arcade game. Like if you can do one, you can do both. And that's uh, that's an amazingly good game. It's just, especially with two players. Um, absolutely loved it. Plus I had like the weird English. This battle will make your blood boil. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> I don't even understand that phrase. But it was a long game, too. I think it only had, like, uh, four levels, but it was just long. <laughs> Pico Pico Hammer. Is that what that bad guy's called? Pico Pico? I think they had a bad guy named in Bionic Commando named Pico. Uh, I wasn't that good at Life Force. Um, Contra. Contra? Contra is actually, the original Contra is not that tough a game. Uh, I know, you know, it's famous for having the uh, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, the A start. <laughs> I'm doing the Contra code right now. Um, for having the 30 live code. They had it in Life Force too. But that game on itself is just, oh, man. Taking hits. Um, I kind of want to hug the edge here, the Guts Dozer. I think his weakness is Quick Boomerangs, if I remember. Because they kind of arc up there. But Contra is a game that, on its own, is not that tough. Like, just beating it with three lives. Um, I may have even... I may have beaten Contra with only... without dying once. I think I've done it with dying just once. I think I beat Contra with dying just once. And it was like right at the end, the little alien things. I just wasn't paying attention. I wasn't happy. <laughs> but uh, no, that one's definitely doable. Give me all the... Um, the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for Nintendo is... I never beat it. And I, I don't even know what the ending of that game is. I never beat it. I got up to the final area where you go inside the Technodrome, and there's like these jetpack dudes that are orange or something like that, and you just run out of steam. I just, uh, I never got past it. I think part of it is because like one level was like randomly generated, and ooh, 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 I want the mega hit. Oh, no mega one-ups. Nah, um... I forget, it was like level 4 or something like where you had to look for the Technodrome. And it was random, like which sewer hole you went in. Something like that. It was just really, really difficult. Was a kid in my school, though, who claimed to have beat it. I didn't even like him. But he claimed to have beat it and nobody believed him. So I think we went over to his house. <laughs> just to, like, get proof that he could beat the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Of course, parents had no idea what was going on. They were just like, oh, you have friends. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 this is, this isn't that, ladies. <laughs> and beat it, because I guess I just, I found like the, the trick to getting through it. Um, right, hold on. So this boss, um, 
is like the only bad boss in the game. Look at the game. It's like flashing all over the place. And you can barely control the game. Yeah, I'm just taking hits here. Yeah, this is the only junky boss in the game. Pause, 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 see? You do the pause trick from the first Mega Man game to avoid the shots. I don't know of any other way of dodging it. Like, this isn't a fun boss. It's just like a glitchy challenge. See this? And then see, once the once there's less of them... See, now that there's less of them, you can actually dodge it, and, like, the game's normal. And you have to be super, super precise, because you can only hit him with the, uh, with the crash bombs, these, this bad guy. And if you miss, make one mistake, that's it. You don't get another chance. Oh. Let's see. Hold on. Nah, I didn't do that right. Oh, wait, I gotta wait for him to kind of flash and do his thing. Alright, that should be good. Um, whew. Silver Surfer on NES. I can't do that game. I didn't own it. Um, I tried playing it. Uh, that game is ridiculously hard. That game is just mean. I can't play Silver Surfer. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever stream that. If I do, it'll just be like 20 minutes of just me. Not knowing what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Castlevania 3, I can do Castlevania 3. Um, I can do that. I can do that. Ooh, look at that, I threaded it. Let's see if I can pull this off. Oh, that's two. Getting nervous now. Oh, let's see if I can pull this off. This is really hard. Oh, almost. See if I can make that, if I can run underneath him, which you can do, I can basically beat him without getting hit. Just a couple more, couple more sticks. Chomp. Off we go. Off we go. What's up? Metal Man. All right, let's go. The dentist. I think as a kid, like we thought he was a surgeon or something like that. Kind of ninja-ish. Really cool boss design. Yeah, that's right. Hang on that lemon. Oh, mm, oh. Mm, mm. Woohoo! Yes. It's it's like that wall pod boss. So run forward, run back. When it goes back, you go. When it's coming towards, you just run. Simple pattern. Run. Stay patient. Dun -dun -dun. Run away. Run away. Oh, 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 oh! Sorry. I, I, I tap out here. You know what? Let me try with the buster. I'm gonna take a ton of hits. Oh, Nemo. Little Nemo Dream Master is an awesome game. Let's see if I can pull this off. Uh, no, I'm gonna die. Let's see if I can just cheese him out. Uh, I'm just jamming buttons. Whew. Um, I didn't play Little Nemo the Dream Master. That's another awesome Capcom game. I saw some people were streaming it. Um. I need to just check it out. Maybe I'll just try it and play it as a, as a fun game. Just learn something new. Learn something new about any. I can't remember. All right. Dr. Wily. So you have to use the bubble on Dr. Wily. Because um, nothing else hurts him. He's an alien. He does his thing. Just chill out in the middle of the screen. Bubble. Take your time. Take your time. Bubble. Take your time. Just jump. Take your time. He just does this figure eight pattern stuff. Just 
chill. Take your time. Take your time. Stay chill. No need to start jamming buttons. Eh. Um. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, see? I almost got a hit because I started to feel a little... Started to get cocky. Wanted to, uh... Street Fighter 2010. Saw that. Um... I think I played that game once. I did- Oh! Rah, 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 rah. I wanna do this perfect! Rah. Oh well. Um... I didn't really play, uh... Street Fighter 2010. I played Legendary Wings. I think I rented it as a kid because it looked cool. The box art looked cool. Um, but I don't even remember, like, getting past, like, the very first couple levels. Like, you flew into a big mouth, and then I just... I just never got very far in that game. Oh, come on, man. I think I hit right at the end. Strider. That's the game. I love that game. Strider. That, that was one I borrowed from a girl. Same same older brother. I, I don't even know how I pulled, off, pulled this off. That trade. Why would you even ask? Hmm. It's kind of weird now that I think about it. That was a really good NES game. There he is, second time! Dr. Wily. Uh, I, as a kid, I remember I liked this game so much, I would show it to my family members. <laughs> like, older cousins, aunts and uncles, and I would specifically show them this ending. Um, they didn't know what was going on. They barely understood what I was even doing on the TV. Um, but for whatever reason, as a kid, I was like, really... Not, um... Not proud that I beat the game, but I just thought this was like an amazing ending. It doesn't even... Man, he's just, just walking through the seasons. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I haven't done this in a while. This is, um... This feels good. One of those things where, like, you know, you start remembering when, when this stuff happened. What a good game. Oh man, it was just... And I think the only time that I ate it was on Heat Man with that silly block. Oh well! Number 9, Metal Man. That was another thing that was fun. Um, I, uh, I think... I don't know which, which Mega Man they started doing this. But they advertised a Nintendo Power where you can mail in ideas for bosses. Um, I think I created a guy called like Shockman. He had like sparks on the side of his head and the sides. I mean, they didn't pick it. Um, but I remember that was cool that you could. They started picking kids. In the later Mega Man games, they started showing like the submissions the kids did. Um, I only pick kids in Japan though. And what can you do? Oh, with the exception of uh, Mega Man Six. There was like one kid, the kid that made Nightman, he was from America. And then maybe some other kid in like Europe or something like that. He did um Batman. Mega Onlooker Man, thank you. You've given me like an entire list of things for me to to stream. Um That's it. Uh probably gonna chop this up in the highlights, get it up on to, to YouTube if you're there. Um, <laughs> Ring King. <laughs> oh, that was a weird game. I remember my cousins had it. It was just weird. And all you did was just like hug each other. I could talk about this stuff all the time. Um, uh, if you're seeing it on YouTube, come check me out on Twitch. You can talk to me just like this the whole time. It's a lot of fun. Um, I just do a variety of stuff. And, uh, ooh, River City. This is. This list is crazy. I, I'm going to have to save this chat just for the list of games that I have to play. Because I did do River City. That's another game that um, I got like real technical with. Uh, I forgot I borrowed it from somebody. Um, awesome. Mega Onlooker, man. You were here the whole time. Keep it, keeping the chat going. Keeping everything going. Appreciate it. This is a, lo a lot of fun. And for everybody else who's watching, thank you. Um... Until the next time, later.